I'm sure you're wondering why I suggested a combined session for you guys. The thing is your cases are quite similar and I felt it would be great to handle it at once. But we paid for private sessions, sir. As in, I don't feel comfortable disclosing my family's business in the open. Gentlemen, calm down. We are all here for the same issues. Mr. Adileye here wants a working class woman, while Mr. Ikemefuna wants a full-time housewife. You want your wife to work? Well done, sir. Thank you for supporting women, unlike some people. Look, don't insult me. So you want your wife to lazy around in the house? Lazy around? Do you think taking care of the children is an easy job? Keep quiet! Madam Ikemefuna, do you have children? Yes, I do. Three handsome boys. See your mate. She has children, of course. But does she take care of them like a mother should? What else do you want me to do? Sacrifice my life because I am a mother? I made the first to have children. Madam, these kids are your tomorrow. If you don't handle them well now, you won't be able to handle them later. Madam, before thinking of the future, how about you think of today? Are your children comfortable with one stream of income? Oh, oh, don't mind her. It's laziness, oh. Just two children, and she's complaining all the time. See your mates, three children, with a full-time job. Mr. Man, calm down. It's not that glamorous as it sounds. My wife doesn't take care of her children. <laughs> we can now see how similar your cases are. How do we go about it? Should we swap wives now? That is not the solution, sir. I pay you to advise my wife. Let her see reason why she's work. Tell my wife to stop working and focus on the children. <laughs> okay then, okay then. I hear you both. It's really hard to make decisions for grown-ups. I personally feel these women are only doing what they deem fit for their homes. Thank you, sir. But all the same, Mrs. Adelaide, I think your husband needs a helping hand. It's possible the responsibilities are weighing him down. Thank you. I can't find things as I normally do when it's just two of us. I need help, Grace. Even if it's just for two years. Bear with me and do this for me. Two years? Leye, what about the kids? Who will take care of them? What do you mean? You, of course. So you want me to work full time and still take care of the kids? Do you think I'm some sort of machine or what? Excuse me, do you have a problem with making money for yourself? You have just two kids. What is so hard in working? Gosh, you're too lazy. Honestly, I wonder how your husband copes. Hello, madam. Face your marriage. I was talking to my husband. I know you were. My dear, as a fellow woman, I think you should go out and earn money for yourself. Stop making your husband bear all the responsibilities. Don't be lazy. Mind your business. Your husband says you don't take care of your children. You better stay at home before another woman takes your place. No woman can take my place. Auntie, better secure your home before you get a second wife. Okay, Mrs. Leyer. Take it easy now. Uh, is it not you men again? That's not why we are here now. Mrs. Grace, I feel your husband needs help. Look at him. He really looks pale. Can't you reconsider? Everyone is saying reconsider. What about my children? I know you are capable. I know you can balance both properly. Give it a trial before stress kills your husband. Ha! God forbid. Babe, please. I have had two years. Only two years. Oh, lazy fellow. I think you are the lazy one. Me? Lazy? I earn almost a million by working my ass off. And neglecting your children? I earn well too. And it won't be enough for all of us. You married a career woman. And you know that. Stop! For God's sake! Your children need their mother. Okay then. How about we use the two years techniques here too? What? Stop working for two years and see the changes it will make. God forbid! Two years? For what? Please, let's look for another solution. Sweetheart, listen to him, please. I think you can sacrifice two years. Do it for your kids. I'm sorry, I can't. My love, please. I can take good care of you. You know this. I don't know why you insist on making your own money. The feeling is blissful. Then work as a mother. Let your husband pay the salary. Is that something you can do? Of course. I will pay you. Full salary? Yes. We are going to sign a contract. If you want, it can be arranged. That's all I want. Hey, <laughs> woman. Ah, I like playing safe. 
Um, Ma, yes? Can I see you outside? There is something I would like to discuss privately. Say it here, please. Don't go and beat me outside. See, I have phobia for kids. For your own children? Why did you not get birth to three? Because my husband kept insisting. Left to me, I was okay with one. My love, please, don't stop. Let me say it here, please. I don't know if I can honestly... Are they not your children? They are. Then you don't need to worry. You will do just fine. But two years is a lot. It's not, my love. I'm sure you will have the time of your life. Your kids will be so happy. I think the problem is me. I am not a career woman. I just want to sleep and raise kids. It's okay. You will adjust also. <laughs> we should switch, Mrs. C.K. Mefuna. I think so. Um, babe, that is not the solution now. We have agreed already. I know. I do. You will be fine. Trust me. Marriage certainly comes with lots of compromises. If you don't learn to compromise, the marriage might fall. Let's try to always meet our partners at the middle. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel for more exciting videos. Thank you.